Mr. Truck, we get this question all the time. Which heavy duty truck should I buy? Should it be gas or diesel? Well, one of the biggest criteria for answering that question is fuel mileage. How many miles to the gallon does one of these heavy duties get? Loaded and empty. We're doing that today. Loaded and empty. 16,000 pounds on a gooseneck on his 2020 heavy duty 2500 Chevrolet. We're going to know the fuel mileage that you can't get anywhere else. Not the EPA, not GM, just TFL truck. Oh, yeah. This truck is equipped with a gooseneck fifth wheel package. This system is obviously can be used either to put on your fifth wheel hitch or a gooseneck ball like we're using today. The overall pucks are actually a little bit narrower than before. This is for 2020. Do you want to extend your mirrors? Yeah, I think I have to. I wish I had power extending like that. Well, this is a custom. This is more of a I basic know. truck. I know. It's not I a high country. It. I know. I know. A little more, stop. Let me see, you me? Hold on one sec. We got the truck working its sequence to check the tr truck lights and trailer lights. So Looks here- like All the lights are working. It's all good? Yeah. As always, this towing test is brought to you guys by our friends at Trans West. Check them out using the link below for your truck, trailer, and RV needs. First way, relay. First way. Tractor. Number two. Well, this new Chevy Heavy Duty is a work truck, right? That's true, so we should use work gas. Yes, and it's <laughs> rated. The power rating is rated at... Uh, regular and let it and because this is Colorado high elevation about 5,000 feet above sea level. Yes. Yes We have 85 octane available, which we will use because it's cheaper. Yeah Capless system. Yes. What we're finding interesting when you have a big truck like this pulling a 40-foot trailer whatever we are that we are 32 yeah. and 8 that you and, you and you don't have diesel, you can't pull into the diesel islands that are made for long trucks. Yes. You gotta pull into the consumer island and we lucked out, we've been able to make a loop, get yes. to the outside pumps and get this big rig in here where the consumers go. So that's interesting. You gotta remember down the road, you may wanna really pick out your gas stations if you're pulling a big trailer with a gas engine. Yes, and the other good thing is, we have a 36 gallon tank. Hallelujah. 30 second method as always, right? Yep, hopefully it gets a little bit of the air out of the system. Yep, we'll do the same method every time we fill up. All right, well, before we leave, we need to reset the trip meter. So we're running our abbreviated loop, 66 miles approximately. Okay. That's our distance. And 70 miles an hour is, I want to keep, I want to maintain the same speed as we've done in previous years. Sure. Um, a lot of people tell me to slow down or speed up, but I think yeah. we should just keep it. I know, because most people drive in 75 in Colorado. But this is an interesting truck, right? It's a brand new engine. Mm -hmm. First year, first year for this engine. It's a fifth generation small block bush rod. Yes, direct injection and it's got a six speed. Yes. From the heritage. <laughs> from it's previous been, years, yes, it's but been it's been around. updated. I mean, yeah. this engine produces a lot more torque than before. Right, right. So 464 pound-feet of torque instead of 380 on the previous Vortec. Right. And the number, the loaded number that we're trying to compare it against is uh, around 10 mpg that we did in the diesel. Right. So in the diesel, we ran at 75 miles an hour because it was a different thing we were trying to do. And that was 9.7. Uh -huh. So 10 is kind of a round number that we're targeting, but I don't think, I don't know if we can come close to that. The rear end in this puppy is a 373. Right, versus the old 410. Yeah. I missed the 410. And this is a four-wheel drive truck, crew cab, and yeah. they made this truck bigger than ever, right? It is, it's taller, it's, longer, it's longer. taller. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's accelerate normally to about 70 and hit the cruise control and just roll down the highway. Okay. Running nice and steady, right? Yes. Let's check the sound level. That's about 65 decibels. Well, that's good. 65 that's is good. good. Anything under 70 is good. All right, we're almost to our turnaround point. 
here in Wiggins. Uh, what's the computer saying? 7.7 .7 miles per hour. Actually, that's not as bad no, as I originally thought. Not when you're maxed out, man, on payload and trailer capacity. On yeah, the gas engine? Yeah, that's, uh, that's actually pretty okay. weird. So how's the truck uh, riding? How's the handling? Well, we're on the worst part of this road. This is the cement park. It's got whoops and dives and dips. And, so it's actually doing pretty well. Although we did squat well. a lot, right? Yeah, we were squatting more than I'd like. But three and three quarters inches. Thing says 7.2 okay. miles per gallon. Well, let's see what the pump says. Whoa! Oh, I got 30 miles a gallon. 30 seconds, please. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was 30 seconds. Nine point five three one. All right, so 66 miles divided by what is that? Five three one. Six point nine. So basically seven, but yeah. rounding to six point nine. So what is it about? Well, thirty percent yeah, lower. Yeah, thirty percent. Yeah, between this and the, the diesel. diesel. Yeah, approximately. So now you can count all that out and see uh, how long it takes to pay for that ten thousand dollar diesel. Yeah, using the fuel prices that we have right now. Yeah, because this thirty percent is quite a bit. Yes. I mean, to like a trucker, even five percent can be a lot. Ten percent, yes. but thirty percent—that's big. All right, we need to zero out the trip meter. Now or right now? Right now. Okay. Uh, so reset it. Okay. It's up there. All right, good. And actually, when I drove from Oregon back to Colorado with the diesel Duramax yeah. 2020 truck, um, I ran at about 68 to 70 average miles per hour. Uh -huh. That was my average speed. So us doing 70 here is actually really comparable. 19.9. Okay, basically so on basically 20. 20. Yes. So that's kind of the target we're trying to hit with this run as well. This tested price on this truck right here, this is custom, like okay. we said, is 48,000 bucks. 48,000. Yeah, it starts crew cap 4x4 starts at around 40, 41,000. Right. This has that's for a work truck with a gas engine. And a four wheel drive. Or and a four wheel drive. Four -wheel drive. And this has about 6,000 of options. Partially a thousand bucks for the gooseneck hitch, fifth wheel okay, package. Okay, well that's a big part. That's a big part of it. And forty-eight grand is where it's at. Okay, well, I guess that's better than seventy or eighty or ninety, like a like a fully full loaded blown diesel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's run at seventy and see what she does, right? Let's do it. I got the, the thing locked on. Let's see, make sure the cruise understands what I wanted it to do. And there seventy. We are. There it is. 70. All right, we're at the halfway point in an empty truck. What does the computer say? Holy cow, it says 18.7. 18.7? 18.7. 18 wow. That's, that's very close to 20 that they well, got in the diesel. Yeah, but we're going downhill a little bit. We're going uphill on the way back a little bit. Okay, but that's, so that's impressive. That's so far, that's pretty yeah, good. That's 70 miles an hour. And that's, you know, this does not have cylinder deactivation. It doesn't have 10 gears. No. It, it, it is what it is. Good. Shows. Well, the other one was off a little because it was. It was a little. This is said eighteen two. Well, that's not bad. So I mean, it, yeah, it could be seventeen something, and that would be very good. I mean, a lot of half ton trucks can do the same. This truck weighs just over seven thousand pounds empty. Oh, I believe it. All right, here we go. It's the moment of truth for the empty truck, right? Yes. Is that all this is? Is this aluminum hood or is it aluminum tailgate too? Well, they said they added some aluminum. Oh, 30 seconds. That's a good double click. You want to do it again? No. <laughs> okay. We get all nervous with these pumps. Drip. 
I know, we get all nervous with these pumps these days. Okay, 4.134. 4.134 is the number. All right, let's do it. 66 six miles, divide by 4.134. Roger. Roger, ooh. Oh, that's dropped. 16.0, well, if you round it, 16.0. Gotta answer the question, right? Right. Gas or diesel heavy duty truck? Which one's gonna save you the money? Yeah, and if you consider that the diesel Duramax cost about ten thousand dollars with a ten speed Allison. Right. Over this gas V8 with a six speed. Um, if you're towing maximum like we just did today, yeah, it would take you hundred and sixteen thousand miles to recoup the ten grand. The ten grand, and that's not bad. And last time I did no. something like that, it was one hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. If you're not towing, if you're just running around empty the diesel makes less and less sense. Right. Um, with the data we found here today, it would take 650,000 miles. That's quite a few. And that, that's it, why I used to always say leasing doesn't make sense on diesel if you're not towing with it yeah. because you're never going to get caught up. So and, if you're working the truck, let's say you're doing a hot shot uh, kind of business. Right. you got to have diesel for towing. So you got to have diesel because it's really quickly you can make up those differences and, um, in cost. So, and if, if you're not towing, if you're just running around empty most of the time, the gas makes more sense. Right, you gotta be Methuselah or somebody's gonna live a couple hundred years. <laughs> All right, guys, and go back to tfltruck.com for more news views and real world truck reviews. And where else? MrTruck.com. And now you know if you can afford a diesel.